Hello guys, and I believe this is part three or four, I'm not sure, I think it's three of Into the Mine. And I'm here with Samuel, Hello. Ava, <laughs> and where's Liliana? I'm here. Hi. Here. Um, look, <laughs> we're going in to this mine, and we're going to a very small room now. Danger. Look, danger. Keep out. So uh, we do have a bigger group. So those of you guys that are up front, get a good peek at everything, and then take a step back so we have that next group to come check it out. Okay? I'll tell you in a second. Here. I've already looked. I'm making a YouTube video. Oh. Okay. This is Ava's a, mom. I don't need to be. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so uh, we do have a few more parents in here. We're going to squeeze a couple more people in here. Look at this. Now, as everybody was walking in here, do you see that cool piece of equipment on the right hand side? Yep. Alrighty. So I will talk about that right now, actually. So that is actually a steam power drill. Now we started using the steam power equipment in this room because actually we are standing in the mother load room. This room alone produced three fourths of the whole mine's profit. So this room alone produced about three hundred thousand dollars, and that was back then's money. So now it'd be a couple million, definitely. Now that piece of equipment, actually, they called it a widow maker. Reason being is it's producing so much of that silica dust. You have about two years to live initially once you start working on that. So not the best of job. Later on, they did figure out it was the silica dust that was killing everybody. And actually, uh, they put a spigot in the drill steel, just like a tile saw, just to reduce all that dust. Of that dust. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you guys remember Julius Pulley? I, I talked a little bit about him, right? But I actually didn't tell you one of the best parts. We were standing in this uh, mother load room, and this big old piece of equipment right here, this was his original invention. This has never moved a single inch. This is called the steam hoist. Now its job was to bring all the ore up from those lower levels onto this level. Now the way it worked is that rope would actually be a steel cable. <coughs> Put that there just so you guys can see the concept. So that would wrap around the steam hoist, go through the pulley system on the left, up above the 12 by 12 beam, and then attach to that ore bucket. Then that ore bucket would go down this mine shaft in the back right hand corner all day bringing ore up to this level. Now working on those lower levels, it's already a horrible job. You're working in knee deep water all the time, so you're sick all the time. You get an extra 50 cents, but it's all going to doctors. <laughs> now another thing you gotta worry about is this one ton ore bucket. If that thing ever came crashing down on you, boom, you were done immediately. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys a joke, but I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I'm a little too young for it. But you parents, I'll tell you guys if you want to hear it once we're out of. I want to hear it. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> now, a very cool thing about this piece of equipment is this was actually manufactured right here in Georgetown. So as well as inventing it, it was actually produced right over here. So way to stay local. You will also notice that it's a very large piece of equipment. Actually, they brought it in here piece by piece and assembled it right in this room. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find that very phenomenal. I mean, I can't even put stuff together in broad daylight, yet alone candlelight, and they did such an amazing job. So I always like to give them props for that. Now back here we do have a ladder going to the upper levels of the mine. This is what's called a raise. Now you would go up to the, uh, this is where you'd initially go to work those upper levels of the mine. Now this is the only spot on this level where you actually go up uh, this ladder right here. Now right back here uh, you will notice a hole right behind that ladder. Now we actually did not talk about it when we gave the introduction, but you actually got the introduction in front of our sister mine called the J. Everett Mine. Now the reason why they're called sisters is they connect a couple hundred feet inside Republican Mountain, which you're standing in right now. Well, I don't know if any of you guys have sisters, but just like sisters, they fought all the time. They were actually fighting for this mother load that we're standing in right now. So there was gunfights in here, fist fights, you name it, a lot of really, really cool history. Actually, later on, they did take it to court, the Lebanon one half and the J. Everett one half. So that's how they did figure that out later. So pretty cool. Now, there was 180 guys working in this mine at one point in time, 30 on each separate level. Now, actually, back then, they did not let women in this mine uh, just because of the Tommyknockers. And I'll tell you about the Tommyknockers once we're in one of those buildings, okay? 
uh, I always thought this was really funny because if you look at their pulley system right here, one of those guys had a little feminine side to them. There's just a bunch of hearts on their pulley system. And I always thought that was pretty funny, but very cool to get a good look at it. Now I have a question for you guys. Do anybody, does anybody know what oxidized copper is? What color it looks like? I heard that. <laughs> Sounded like a frog, but it's okay. Brown, maybe? No, it's not brown. It's actually a blue-green color to it. So that's why you do have green pennies sometimes, but not anymore. They stopped making them out of copper. And that's also why the Statue of Liberty is that color, too. And actually, we do have a little bit of uh, oxidized copper up here for you to check out. So, yeah. So if you see yeah, any blue-green colors like that on any pennies or anything, oh, cool. that's some oxidized <laughs> copper. So, very, very cool. Now, does anybody have any questions in this room? No. All right, so I have two more buildings to show you guys outside. So we're going to meet you right where you put your hard hats on. I'll be right behind you. i got to make sure that Tommy Knocker doesn't try to grab anyone, all right? So I'll be right behind you.